Okay guys, we're going to make some banana bread. So we'll start with three bananas. We're gonna add one large egg to the bananas, just like that. You can add a third cup of milk, but I have this hazelnut coffee creamer, so I'm gonna add a splash of that. And then some sour cream to make it to about a third cup of milk. A tablespoon to two tablespoons of vanilla. I like this Mexican vanilla blend. So I'll put two tablespoons. You can do a third cup of butter, a third cup of oil, or I'll do one cup of applesauce to make it just a little bit healthier. Um, it can be either butter, oil, or applesauce. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna do a heaping spoonful of cinnamon for good luck. We're gonna do a little bit more than half of a cup of brown sugar. So I'm just gonna kind of free, free measure it. I wanna do a hefty pinch of salt. And you're gonna do about a cup of flour. Sometimes I like to do a little bit more than a cup. And I'm gonna do about a half a cup of oatmeal. Maybe just a little bit more. I'll do just a little bit more. That was about a cup. Now we're gonna go ahead and mix. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees, and you're going to really, really grease a glass baking dish, a bread dish. You can use whatever you want. I just prefer glass. And we're gonna scoop all of this beautiful, yummy deliciousness into our pan. So there it is, it is finished. I cooked it at 350 degrees for an hour. Sometimes you can cook it a little bit more, a little bit less, everybody's oven is different. As soon as you insert a toothpick and it comes out clean, that means it's done. You can just put it on the counter and when it's cooled off, you can enjoy. See all those bubbles? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. So actually, this is really good to do while it's hot. Um, it should come away from the pan if you oiled the dish really well, but while it's hot, if you take a knife and just go around the sides, it will help loosen it and take it out. It's super easy to take out when it's hot. Um, that way you can let it cool easily, um, and that is what the inside looks like. So be patient, let it cool a little bit, and then you can enjoy your banana bread.